One Christian denomination is making major changes to its rule book this week on the topic of gay rights. The United Methodist Church will no longer condemn homosexuality, so now they will also allow same-sex weddings and gay clergy. Alec Jokic shares the local reaction to these decisions, and she's live right now at Minnehaha UMC tonight. Hey, Alex. Hey guys, yeah, you can see a rainbow flag outside this church in Minneapolis. The international decisions over the last few days have been very emotional for their pastor. A sermon that's been on Becky Seacrest's heart for decades is now finally being written. I always believed that this day would come. As the pastor at Minnehaha UMC, she's never openly shared that she's married to a woman. There's been a ban on gay clergy in the United Methodist Church for 40 years, a ban that was overwhelmingly overturned at their worldwide conference Wednesday. The affirmative has it, and the motion is adopted. Prompting cheering, hugging, we can and singing of hymns like this one called Child of God. Just burst into tears. I thought, oh my gosh, I can't believe this actually just happened. It was an amazing moment to feel that weight just get lifted. The conference also decided to allow same-sex weddings, giving each church the power to decide if they want to perform them. And perhaps most significantly, will now delete the phrase from their principles that said the practice of homosexuality is incompatible with Christian teaching. This is a very big deal. The clergy assistant to the bishop tells us the Minnesota delegation has been fighting for these changes for a long time. So that the whole church was able to come together and make this commitment to say, this is who we're called to be as a church is really significant. For Seacrest, it means sharing her own story with her congregation for the first time, and then moving forward. The stuff we want to be working on is more than just who's welcome at the table. Let's make everybody welcome, and then let's work to solve other issues in the world. These decisions do impact a lot of people right here in Minnesota. There are more than 300 United Methodist churches in our state with more than 50,000 members. Live in Minneapolis, Alex Jokic, 5 Eyewitness News.